Hello and welcome again to Stocks Advisor. Today we'll talk about GD Com Incorporated, ticker name GD, traded at Nasdaq. Uh, we are observing here second uh, positive white candle on the second trading session already, currently at 59.45. The question is what's next, of course, because overall it's very nice kind of bullish activity momentarily what we see, but the question is will it continue or not? and how to trade here. So let's quickly discuss and understand uh, what's happening. So first we need to understand what was happening here before. So let's quickly look at it. Um, we can see that we were observing here uh, the descending channel was not completely clear, but still we saw it. And then um, here it was very nice so-called double uh, bottom or even triple bottom behavior and then we see this rebounds although with quite nasty down, downward shadow yesterday also MACD histogram was forming very nice double wave with uh, let's say reducing uh, minimas a wave here and now it's kind of piercing upward so proposes going further high but it could be also a rejection so we need to be careful because this upward shadow is a little bit nasty first of all on the negative side secondly moving averages so if you look at those these are three lines green blue and red being moving average 20 50 and 200 the one which is the, the, the let's say fast pace moving average 20 here the green line is still kind of facing downwards although shows some indication of of turning up. So what might be happening, instead of continuing further crazily, we just might observe some volatility levels here. And that's exactly would be the moment where we can think of buying because this triple bottom is quite strong indication. But still we will keep in mind possibility to go further down to buy again. So short term it's volatile, unclear, so good opportunity to buy, but longer term it's actually uh, kind of bullish. So with this being said, um, and of course, taking for profit taking could be anywhere in the vicinity of moving average 200 red line because you can clearly see it was working as a resistance level. So with this being said, how to buy here? Let's do it quick. Um, the buy is very simple. It's anything below moving average 20 and all the way uh, to this candle because it could be volatile here. So between 56.35 and 58.16. This is the first technical level. Then we could have immediate rebounds further. If not taking place, if we actually uh, start a new descending channel, it could be very quick acting because this was quite long. So it could be steep and quick and then rebound. So we just need to be ready to buy the lower levels and the lower levels will start here exactly below this line and actually here this uh, kind of a volatility level here. Again, little bit broad, but still it is what it is. It's between 50.30 and 52.98, the second technical level. Then the third level, so-called doomsday scenario, it's not that we expect technically, but might happen due to new so other negative catalyst. Then we just look at what is impossible levels from where we will be safe to buy if we keep some funds for that. This would be, of course, these nice, these nasty, uh, let's say, Waves here and just middle of this doji with huge upwards downwards uh, shadows and up and top of upper shadow in this action. So these are three levels to buy. First two technicals and the third just to keep, um, let's say, uh, to buy in the final stage as a doomsday scenario. And then rebound should take place. If immediate rebounds takes place, we could go actually quite high, even higher than moving average 200. But I would just take profit anywhere you have 10% or in the vicinity of 10% from your average price. This is always that I do, but if you want to, to let's say, take a chance, it might go a little bit higher, not that much from moving average 200 if we rebounds from the first level. If from the second level, that's least probable because it still will be volatile a lot, then I would just sell whenever you have a 10% profit. And the third level is just to cover your losses whenever you want to draw just exit. So that's the way to trade. Again, at the moment, volatile, unclear, plus minus, a shorter, short term, but long mid term, it's a quite positive uh, position here. So with this being said, that's all for gd.com. If you like what you hear, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, press the bell button. This way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for US based, uh, US -based stocks. Sorry. With this being said, well, good luck with uh, GD and see you at another episode of Stocks Advisor.